Hey guys, it's Helping Hands here, bringing you another narrated gameplay session here, where I just narrate my thought process, my my step by step plays, and uh, yeah, I hope you find this useful for people who are looking to improve their gameplay. Here we go. All right, okay, so we've seen the uh, rookie section, so I'm going to keep back a bit. Uh, he's actually going to do better at me at range, so I'm just going to disengage here. I'm going to get throw this squad in the house because I need vision of this whole area. There's no cover here on this point, so if he decides to push me, I can get my back away. He's going to back away. He's seeing my machine, and that's fine. Move orders. Get to it. So we keep pushing up here. His rifleman's there as well. So now I know where his rifleman is. I'm going to come over and cap the sensor. Going to go for a flamethrower here with my first 50 munitions. As I notice, my opponent is staying on green cover and he's built himself this little fighting position. Might be, I don't know if he can, how quickly can he upgrade that to a machine gun? Gonna try and come over here with you. So we're just going to pull that there, going to win that fight. Just going to burn them there. Alright, wipe that, back away. Oh, if I retreat through there, I'm probably going to get wiped, so I'm going to jump over there. Uh, let's get another grin. Try and burn that guy quick. Chase, chase, chase. Well, that still got me there. Right, we need. I'm going to just retreat here because I don't want to risk losing my pioneers and retreat. So we're just going to back away. Um, could have probably rallied this guy a bit further forward faster, which is a bit of a mistake. That's okay. We'll just jump in the house. So he's got this here. I'm going to just go for an early mortar here to counter this. Grenadiers have been mustered for battle. Um, Victory point is under enemy control. That's not a mortar. That's a machine gun. So we're going to get the mortar out. Move inside, but overall, I mean, even though I lost map control, I, do, I wiped the squad, so that's a win. Now we're just going to jump in the house again, into this big church, get some vision. Uh, he's capping this over here, so we're going to try and see if we can see what's over here. He might be going around there, get you to jump into this building. Team we go, jump in the house. This is a decent engagement. Stay in that house there. Got to be wary of grenades. So I'm just constantly checking over here to see if he's going to grenade. He wouldn't really be sticking this engagement out if he was... So that coming in. Well, we'll get my pioneer to cap that. Alright. Let's start bombarding this. Oh shit, we've just been caught out there with our pants down. We need to jump back in here. We might be able to jump in before we're suppressed. We did, good. Moving to coordinates. I set my machine gun up here because if I was him, he might come down here with his rifle to try and harass my mortar. Enemy concentration. Fire! So we're going to flank him with this guy. We're also going to tech up here. Probably tier three. Dump you guys out. Keep pushing that. Alright, we're going to back away here. Back to the church here. Let's jump back in this house here. Let's make sure this pioneer's grabbing that, then we'll rally him to here. Getting more of myself, so I'm immediately going to reposition. Well, that's not great. Gonna retreat, that's not a good engagement. Let's just back you up. Everyone assemble outside. Don't forget your boots. We're ready. Gotta get in there now and harass that. Remember this guy over here is just sitting here. Not really doing anything with this guy at the moment. But he's just holding my munitions at the point at the moment. Ooh, we might be able to get a wipe here. One lucky we didn't get it. We'll jump you out. Oh, we got it. Nice. So why is almost why you always want to keep chasing? So we're gonna grab that and then we're instantly gonna retreat. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna retreat the squad because I would like to keep them on the on the on the on the, on the, uh, the map here. 
Uh, why? Because they got healing, and I need that for my low health units here. We await, we march, Grenadiers. So let's this way, coming this way. The enemy has claimed our territory right. on their own. And then we're going to rally over here with you. Grenadiers and then I'm probably going to go for an AT gun just to be safe for armor. Or do I or should I? Mm. Right, we'll pop the heels on here. This is a new heel, which gives healing for everybody now, which is awesome. Jump the SMG back over. Actually, we'll bring SMG over here to heal. We'll jump out here and start capping this. He's dropping something else in. Right, I'm going to keep bombarding that. Right, you jump in there. Keep kiting away here. I might see if I can burn through the house here. We march, Grenadiers. Actually, he's not got any um, flamethrower on that. I'm going to jump in this house quick while I've got a second. And, yeah. Axe coming out. Sweet. Throw that over there. It's a good engagement for me. Still trying to bombard this. Right. This MG is covering my left flank right now. But I want to try and wipe this so I can push this machine gun here. He might have another machine gun over here in this house. He doesn't. That's fine. Here we go. Wiped it. The fame throw is fo focus the house. Chase, good. Oh, here comes a Greyhound, that's dangerous. Alright, we'll retreat you back. Back gun's coming up. I'm actually just going to do a full retreat here, just to be safe. I, don't, I mean, we got another wipe on the... We got the, the important kill there. We got the pack gun. Only issue is I need a grin up here quick so I can get a foul stuff, because this, this thing could surround me and mess me up here. Uh, but we can. I'll go for the 8 rad, so let's get that out. I don't normally pick this Kanana, so we'll get the 8 red out. Uh, we'll also go for the infantry upgrade. We're going to stay in here because it's not going to do too much damage here. We'll be able to scare it off here with a, a round like that. He might not even be paying attention here, and he's not, so I should get a kill here. We'll try attack ground because you never know. A long range attack ground might get the kill. Let's turn around and bombard that. We'll pop here in the base, get everybody healed up. Rally everybody there. A little bit of damage there while we can. Got to be careful because this is... Yeah, turn you that. He looks like he's going that way. Jump back in the house. Turn the right way so we're focusing. Right there, fully ready to go. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. Right, you go there. Moving. Heads down. Backing up my 8 rab with the AT gun, so if he decides to push me, we should be okay there. The enemy has claimed our sector. Do want some more AT though. Um, we wiped that squad great. The enemy forces have captured a victory point. I've got one of Grenadier over here. Right. Throw you there. Throw you there. Just get a mine on that flank there. Get you to cap that. And then we could go and build Panthers if we wanted to. Uh, why not? Let's do that. And then we'll go for the mobile repairs, I think, maybe next. But we'll Faust that. We'll probably just get the D crew here. He's got his mortar. Let's bombard his mortar. I might see if we can get a bit of aggression going on here. Let's move you up to there. Let's try and shoot him in the back here. Try and do as bit of damage while we can. Get the cat, we're going to back you guys away and heal you up. Let's throw you guys forward as well from the back. Um, and then... I don't know if a Stug on this side of the map is not great. 
I might just go for a second pack gun here. Just looking at one in the center. Right. right, I'll put a cheeky mine there. We'll put one mine maybe there and over there. Just so our flanks are covered. We've got something coming down here. Some kind of bomb. Easy dodge though. Check my mini map there to see that. Right, we'll drop a flare out. See what's going on. We'll move this pack gun here. We'll bring bring the fresh one over here. We're also going to tech up the tier four. Right. Might better get a cheeky side flank on this guy here. We're gonna pop the heat. I can't pop the heels on him yet. We can set up now. Here we go. Might, if I'm quick, I can come up behind him now and get a cheeky Faust on him. There you go. That's going to be a kill shot on that. Beautiful. Then we're just going to focus that down. Get the cap going here. Move the machine gun up. Look at the mine. Just keep mining up on our flanks. Oh, there's an 80 tank on spy. Let's push that. Might move the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it up the cap. Just turning that anti tank around, so we need to back up quick before it shoots. Oh, we missed, that's good. I'm gonna shift my pioneers over to repair. And, um. I'm actually gonna grab that. Not pop cap, so I might as well grab it. We're also gonna build some cover there. Turn this anti gun this way. And then we're going to be so yeah, we've almost got enough for a Panzer IV. That's probably what we're going to go with. We could go for the Panther, but the Panther isn't that, that great against um, infantry. Right, where's my mortar at? Look to the top left to find it. Come over here. Let's bombard that. Right, retreat you. You're too low. Turn the machine gun around. Pop the hills. Get you to repair. Um. Oh, that was a nasty hit, so I'm going to back you away. Do I want to go for spotting scopes or the thing? I haven't really got any of them at the moment. I could back tech for it. You know what? No, I will go for that, just because I feel like I could do with some on-map reinforcement. Alright, where's my... Right, go and smooth them up. Let's be aggressive now. Let's put some more mines down. Always play mines. Shift took some mines around. Man is... is... What's that coming in? Just a recon run. So I know I can be aggressive with my 8 red over here because we've stolen his anti-tank gun. I'm going to swing over to the left now since I pretty much dominated this guy. Uh, so we're just going to swing over now to the other side of the map. Move this machine gun up. Maybe in this house with a pack gun there to hold that, so that looks quite nice. Convert this to a med truck, so we've got reinforcements and healing. Then I'll see if I can swing this 8 rad in here. And we're only two fuel away from our thing. We'll get some sandbags down. Alright, let's move you guys back here. Get the reinforcement going. Let's flank around here. Kill up Panzer IV. We're going to ignore the... Confirm. Greyhounds, I can wipe that. Get their point healing, reinforcement. Oh, that's a mistake from me there. I should have rallied away. I shouldn't be sitting on my own mind. Let's pull you away. That's good. I wish I could crush this. If I can get a panther out, I could crush this and make this a bit easier. Got a uh, grenade in there. Let's push up. Alright, let's grip rally the panzer four up. We'll focus the rifles because they're the most dangerous thing in that fight. We made T gun up. Move everybody forward. We will chase. We'll keep pushing. 
If you insist, you need my keep mining, keep chasing, keep chasing. Got a new AT gun. Gonna pop smoke. We reverse back to the mid truck. Oh, retreat there. We've got the Greyhound coming over. He doesn't know this, this AT gun's here, I don't think. So. If I'm him, I'm gonna move my AT gun up here in anticipation. And also got my Panzer IV coming over here. Move you forward, reverse you back to hill. Running my units in the base up. Move you to the med truck. And then I'll move you around here because I think the Greyhound's decided to back away to the left here. Uh, we're going to go for the Armored Skirts upgrade. And then, oh, there's a Greyhound. We found it. It's still over there. Risky going over here with these. Because we don't know. There might be rifles hiding around here, but... Oh, we found a few little squads. Right, so I'm going to make an uh, a play to push the cutoff over here. Right. Every one of my grens are going to come over here. I just want to make sure all my grens are coming over. Pop heels on this guy. Right, more cap that. You get a cap that. Put you over there to cover the, to, to, to give me vision on that side. Could be a mine here, but I'm going to take a risk. Try and push that. Going to build us some sandbags there on the high ground. Porsche can't plant mines with this guy. There's the Greyhound. It's kind of caught out of position. So here comes some more movement over here. You need AT support? Let's go, Kinder. Leave one grin here so it can float around here and cover this side. I'm gonna check to the left side, see what you know, we're gonna push across this bridge here and see if we can do a big flank. A risky play this. But we are diving on this guy. This is not great. I've just been caught off with my pants down. So I'm going to pull you guys away. Keep microing these guys forward. Okay. Focusing the AT guns down here. This is a bad engagement here. AT gun's still alive. Move this AT gun up. Focus the AT guns down, good. Tap move that. Bring the 8 red over. Just gonna kite every back. Gonna try and focus this down. Tap move that to blow it up. Might bring everybody back over because I need my good deal with the other attacks coming over here. Put back these guys away, kite them over here, rally you guys forward. Let's just pull these guys back. Right, there's still an AT gun here that's still alive that, uh, that we need to blow up. Um, go for that. The Panzer IV, maybe, yeah. Pushing this AT gun. Make sure we wipe it. Get the eight reds to wipe the mortar instead. Here comes a Sherman. Where's it going? This is uh, dangerous because here comes a load of rifles. There you go, GG. We fought bravely. I have not even opened this can. I mean, because I dominated my guy so badly. Like, cause I, you know, I stole his machine gun, wiped his AT, I stole, stole his anti-tank gun, wiped his Greyhound. This guy was out, kind of out of the game kind of thing. He only had the Sherman. But I kind of fended it off with one machine gun and one anti-tank gun. And then I wiped his other AT gun, I think. Unless it's a new one. Um... And then I also saw this guy, the American over here, retreat two of his rifles. So I knew that there was no kind of presence here from the American at the moment. So I then knew it was kind of a safe bet to go around the back and see, see if we could like triple team 
the guy on the left hand side. And it was a good play because we were able to wipe both that guy's AT guns and his units on retreat. And he and that and the purple guy is completely out of the fight. That play as well. Could have, like I'm surprised he let this. He could have stolen this anti tank gun because he, his rifleman came through this way. Howling Yeti, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Um. Because you expect you, know, you expect the allies to try and push back to hold this point, so I, might, I was kind of surprised that I saw his rifles come through here, because this is the priority. Because if you, if this goes, you're, you you know you're disconnected from everything on the right hand side of the map, right? So him coming through here kind of caught me off guard. That's why I had my both my grens there. But you know when I knew I was out of position, it was the best thing to do just retreat, uh, and I didn't lose anything. So he could have kept on chasing my anti tank on there, but I think I like we weaved it around the the buildings, made it hard for him to figure out where I was going. But I was hoping the um, this mortar would be a bit more effective against that uh, American bunker. That American bunker was actually really durable. Yeah, eight rad versus the greyhound is generally not a great matchup for the eight rad. It's not so bad. What's it got? Commander mode. Vision range to save weapons. Units in the area gain 30% reload speed and accuracy. That's the thing that I need to start using more of. This ability is very good. Is that all units? Like uh, infantry and vehicles? Because maybe I should move that and use that more. What am I drinking? This. Team weapons and vehicles. Oh yeah, it doesn't say actually infantry. <laughs> Weed water. <laughs> it's called Calpis. Don't knock it until you try it. It's quite nice. Probably could have been so to improve this game. I probably could have been a bit more uh, proactive with uh, units being at my base and bringing them up a bit faster. But I ended up having three anti-tank guns. I'm not a fan of just going double AT guns here, but because this map the way it is, I feel like I need one AT gun maybe to hold this this top side, then another one can generally hold this whole kind of section here. You always want like a Gren though nearby. Um so that you can get the Faust off so the enemy vehicle can't just dive right on you without being impeded. Didn't have a Gren over here because I had put three mines down as you can see. One, two, three. So if he does, you know. Quite likely he's going to hit a mine. And I don't think he got sweepers at all that game, so my mines were in a good spot. Yeah, just locking, literally locked this guy out of the map on this right side with my support weapons, then moved my mobile units over to help out the other side of the map. But yeah, I kind of like maybe going, was it tier two? So I went. Yeah. It's tier three, sorry. No, tier three. So I went, oh, I see, yeah, we're well, tier one to tier three. And then what did I get out of tier three apart from the pack gun? That was it really. And then the med truck. That kind of works though. So they go for that because that healed that to that uh, half track. Stacked his healing and re repaired my um, my eight rad, which is quite nice. How much is the panther for the five fifty? It's an extra hundred fifty manpower. Is it worth it? I honestly don't think it is. For that extra amount of manpower. It doesn't feel like it's worth. Yeah, it's only really good against good against that. I think the pan excuse me, the Panzer Four is also pretty decent against tanks. It's maybe a little bit squishier than the Panther. But I'd rather it be, you know, that you know, be a bit more squishier and then also be very good at killing uh, infantry. As it's cheaper as well, it's not a bigger loss if you lose it, like you if you lost a panther. So yeah, there we go. Against the Grants, maybe the Panther might be a good idea. Yes, but in that when you're only up against Shermans, Panzer Falls are fine. Uh, yeah, Panzer. Yeah, even if maybe also if you're up against a Hellcat, maybe that the Panther might be a good idea. So guys, that's the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and want more content, check up over here and over here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the button down here. 
catch you in the next video guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon.